FCFF from EBIT. That. So now we are trying to come. We are right down over here. We've already done net income, which is that approach. We are starting from net income. Now we are moving to earnings before interest and taxes. EBIT. Earnings before interest and taxes. There. So the formula is as follows. FCFF is equals to, we are starting from EBIT. EBIT times 1 minus tax. Then you add depreciation minus fixed capital investments minus working capital investments. There. So this is the earnings before interest taxes. And this is the adjustment that you need to do when calculating um, FCFF from EBIT. Now, let's move on. Let's calculate FCFF from EBIT da, or from earnings before interest taxes depreciation and amortization there so FCFF from EBIT that earnings before interest taxes depreciation and amortization amortization there so FCFF is equals to EBIT da 1 minus tax that we also need to make an adjustment to depreciation plus depreciation times tax rate there times tax and put it like that minus fixed capital investments minus working capital investments like that notice the difference between the two this is a bit this is a bit da. It has depreciation and amortization. This one doesn't. So you get um, the EBIT, um, the after-tax uh, uh, value of EBIT, the after-tax value of EBIT. Then you add the, um, the depreciation tax shield over here, depreciation times um, tax rate um, right there. Finally, we start off from cash flow from operations there. So FCFF from CFO. Here I can come and say that this is the same as CFO, like that. So cash flow operations is just, I'll be able to explain how we get cash flow operations in a short while. But FCFF, starting from CFO, so we get CFO or cash flow from operations. Then uh, um, we add interest, one minus tax, like that. Then we, um, we less fixed capital investments um, like that so in a summary we can be able to just summarize all of these calculations in trying to look at how we can be able to calculate the fcff as well as the fcfe although that is a topic for um, the next uh, lesson but it's good for us to just create um, a brief um, introduction um, into FCFE or free cash flow to equity. So what happens is that summary over here, we start from net income, NI. I already explained what NI is. Then you add non-cash charges, you less working capital investments. What do we get? We get CFO. Now, this CFO is the cash flow from operations right down over here. So you can be able to see Cash flow, but notice this equation does not have anything to do with working capital investment because it has been covered um, within the CFO component right there. We only have the interest one minus tax as well as the fixed capital investment. So what we do, we add um, interest one minus tax there, just the same as we've done here, and then we less the fixed capital investments there. What do we get? FCFF right there. FCFF or free cash flow to farm. Moving on, we'll be able to briefly explain in our lesson two um, about the free cash flow to equity. But it's good for us at least we just see um, um, how we can be able to also compute the free cash flow to farm, free cash flow to equity rather. So what we do, this um, component needs to be netted off. It does not represent an interest outflow. So we're saying we need to less interest one minus tax. That's why I've done it like that it's the same then we add net borrow we got what do we get fcfe this is going to be our key highlight in lesson two so that concludes lesson one of free cash flow valuation 
we hope to see you next time in our next lesson